Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Jonah. Welcome to the fourth episode of Lion Support. We have a lot of great games in store for you today, so don't move a muscle. Don't get out of your seat. Coming up right about now. And we take you over to the newly renamed alumni field where Harvest Man Girls Varsity Soccer took on Convent of the Sacred Heart in a very nice match. Harvest Man coming in at 5 0. We see the goal by Cindy Watson right there. She's looked great, and this puts them up 2 0 in the early going. Now, Harvest Man on offense. The corner kick. The header. No good. What a play by the Convent defender. However, it goes off off Convent. Harvest Man gets another corner kick. And Sophia Ficka with the corner kick on the ensuing possession. It goes over to the header. And it goes through the upbreaks, three points in football, however, that's zero goals in soccer. Now Harvest Man, back on offense. They really dominated this first half of the game. Caitlin Tien to the cross, over to Maya Solnick, to Jojo Levy. The shot, it's good! Jojo with the great goal right there. And Harvest Man is winning 3-0. They dominate this game, improving to 6-0 on the season. The Horace Man Girls varsity tennis team overpowered Dalton last week, continuing their undefeated season and bringing them one match closer to winning the prestigious Ivy League Championship. Horace Man sweeps Dalton off the court, winning all five of their matches. Here, a strong return by a Horace Man player causes an easy unforced dare from a Dalton opponent at net. And Horace Man's really playing aggressively in net, as we see here with a nice coach put away volley. First singles player, Gibby Thomas, here, making a deep cross court forehand that her opponent just cannot get to. Third singles player, Sarah Finley, hits a powerful forehand cross court approach shot, which cannot be returned. We take it over to the pitch where the Socceroos took it on against the Collegiate School in this inter division matchup as we take it early on with Noah Skolnick, the through ball to Julian Dubeck, the crosser over to Josh Newman, who would punch it in. That's his first of the two in this match, and we see a little celebration. Let's take a look at his measurables. Not huge in stature, but huge on the field. As we see, he's all over the place. Oh, just over the crosser. What a look for Josh Newman, but not so. As we take it on now, later in the match, as we see the horse man orchestrating it through the midfield as the ball ends up in Noah Skolnick's feet and he's going to take this one from outside the box a look going for the upper 90 but not quite and horse man is going on to seal the victory here as we see great defense turns to offense ball through Josh Newman tickling the twines for this victory the horse man boys take it two goals to nil the horse man versus Brayley the horse man comes into this game one and three and Sarah Selnick receives the pass. She's dribbling up to the goal. And Sarah, she crosses the defender. Wow, she made the defender look silly, but the kick saved by the goalie. And Horseman still on offense. And Sarah Selnick, she once again goes for the shot, but it goes just wide of the goal. Sarah with the great opportunity. Now Horseman still on offense. And Sarah Sronik with the ball. The shot goes just wide. That's a great scoring opportunity by Harvest Man. They would have many, and they would win the first of three straight games in overtime. 1-0 over Burley. Another lead game for the girls' volleyball team as they took on Trinity in this home matchup. As we can see, the action took an early start as right from the get-go. You see Trinity return. Horace Man's able to get that one, and bang! That's a Chi-Chi spike looking good from the beginning. And the match continued on within the first set. Good block by the Horseman pair up front, and they were able to take the first set quite easily. Into the second set now, where we see some more extensive points. We see the freshman Brittany getting into the action, and Jayla Cheeky there doesn't let the Trinity player get it over, and Horseman would take that point. Trinity goes all out on the defense on this point, but nothing would phase the Horseman girls as they continued rallying, and deflection here leads to the easy sped up that would go over for a back row spike and lead to the eventual end of this match as Horseman's going to take this in the third set by a score of three sets to zero. HM taking on Pingree on Friday the 2nd. Coach Duffy putting some words of wisdom into his team before they commit some suffocating defense. And we're off. Defense in its form. Mike Wang and Noah Shapiro combined for the deadly one-two punch. Here we see Honor McCarthy fighting down the Pingry player. Noah Shapiro says, nah, -uh, I'll take that. But now they want it. Why? Who knows? But they take it and they just score on us. What does that mean? It means it's time to score on them. We spread out the pool a bit. And the shot, it's saved by Pingry, but it's a fight in front of the goal. The pass and the shot. 
That's a goal. The crowd likes it. How about another one? An moving around and... Booyah! Another shot. HM with the loss, but nice effort. Arrow likes it. And we take you over to Van Cortlandt Park, where Harvest Man Boys and Girls Varsity Cross Country took on many other Ivy League schools in a very exciting race. And now we see them at the starting line. The girls right here, and they're off. Great race for Harvest Man, and they continue their dominant season. Harvest Man Cross Country's really looked great so far. Three. Thanks for watching! See you next week!